So now we have uh, three different kinds of layer on this map. We have a base map, and we have three uh, feature class coming from a JU database, and we have one, one shape, uh, shape file. And all of them are saved as an MXD file. Now, the second thing we will talk about is a table of content here, where all the layers is coming together. Here you can see all your layers. You can turn it off. You can turn it up, uh, on. And let's say, for example, we're going to turn off the cities, highways, and we can all, uh, only see the states and the base map. The other thing you can do here is uh, like rearrange them. So you click on it and you bring it under all the way under. But because this is points, it's not going to show up. So usually on ArcGIS or for GIS uh, concept, you always put the point on the top, then the lines, then the polygons, and then the base map. So our base map here is the street map, this one. And on top of it is the states, the polygon layer. And on top of it is the highways, which is the lines. And on top of it, we're going to put back the cities back here. So you can arrange these layers to be on top of each other however you want it. All and the second thing we can do here is to right click on layers and click on new group layer. And we can name this group points. And we drag and drop the other layers, any layers we want inside this group. So right now we have the highways, the states, the base maps, and we have points that is a group layer that have the address and of Texas and cities all over across the US. And we can turn it off and on both of them together. So when you turn this on, it's shown on the map. When you turn it off, it's not showing. And we're going to save our MXD. At the end of this video, I want to thank you so much for having the time to watch the video. If you are interested to learn more about ArcGIS products, please go to arcgismastery.com and you will see that we have a lot of selection for online training courses, starting by ArcGIS Desktop and another products like ArcGIS Online, ArcGIS Pro, ArcGIS Enterprise, and so many more. We also have coming courses that you can subscribe to and enroll right now and get a 50% discount. And we will appreciate it if you leave a comment below and let us know what exactly you need to see in this course so we include it in the course for you. And lastly, I will encourage you so much to subscribe to our monthly updates so you can stay updated with what is redo. At the end, I wish you all the best and thank you so much for watching this video.